Hello, my name is Nikki. I've worked at Basingstoke Hospital on the neonatal unit for around two years now. Um, we are a level two neonatal unit, so we take babies from 27 weeks gestation and we will care for babies born at term that need some help and are poorly at birth. I have always wanted to be a neonatal nurse. I love babies, love caring for babies and supporting families to learn how to care for their own baby. This can be a really emotional role. We see the highest of highs and the lowest of lows. We have babies that go home after they've been in hospital for months and months and that's such a joy to see those families. But also we do bereavement care, so we, we see babies sadly pass away and, and are with those families through that journey as well. Nori was born at 26 weeks gestation, so she was born 14 weeks before her due date. Uh, I was at her delivery, but actually I, I only met Sean, Nori's dad. He came out to see Nori and give her a little kiss before we took her down to the neonatal unit to stabilise her. A lot of discussions were made with Sean and Rebecca and the doctors at Portsmouth and it was decided that the best course of care for Nori was palliative care. Being on a neonatal unit is something that parents never planned for, they never foresaw. The whole team wanted to make Nori's life as special as it could be. She was obviously only here for a short amount of time and we didn't know how long she had so it was so important to, to us as a team to be able to facilitate that and, and give her those lasting memories of their daughter. When Nori arrived we put her into our duckling room. We had a bit of a joke that Nori's favourite animal was ducks. They always just seemed to crop up. She had uh, a little snuggly blanket that had ducks on it. She had outfits that had ducks on them. So we printed out lots of pictures of ducks and put them around her room. And on the front door of the room that she was in, we put a little sign saying Nori Anway's room. Um, she had lots of ducks everywhere. We helped Sean and Rebecca to feel more comfortable handling her, cuddling her, picking her up. We took her out for short walks, we took her to the park. One day there was a lady in the hospital that was doing hand and foot casts and I hunted her down and asked her to come to the unit and, and Sean and Rebecca were, were really grateful and actually we've got some beautiful hand and foot casts of her that they can keep forever. Rebecca mentioned to me that she she was sad that she'd never be able to have those beautiful posed newborn photos with the little outfits and the little bows. Um, and so I, I knew somebody that did uh, baby photography. So she came in and we set up one of the rooms and we had sheets down and, and we made it like a little studio so she could have that experience. And, and she's got beautiful photos of Nori in little outfits with a little headband on and there's some really beautiful photos of Sean and Rebecca holding her as well. The doctors at Portsmouth believed that she would live for maybe hours or a day but actually she went on for five weeks on our unit and she became a much loved member of our team. She died and that's awful for that family. You can take something away in what you were able to provide for that family and the memories that they were able to make. I think that's really nice. I was able to accompany Nori down to the mortuary for the funeral directors to come and collect her um, and I think that brought a lot of comfort to Sean and Rebecca that she was always with somebody that knew her in life as well as in death. Sean and Rebecca have gone on to have a beautiful baby boy. He was born early as well but at 34 weeks gestation so not quite as early as his sister. Um, he came down to the neonatal unit and I was able to care for him as well as for Sean and Rebecca again. And we, we all joked that he just wanted to come down and see his auntie Nikki. <laughs> um, but it was lovely to see them finally get their baby that they could take home forever.